Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta 913 and we talk about doing homework before big purchases, but sometimes we have to do it on the spot. For example, a flat tire. Not a lot of research time available. Fox 5 I team's data foul is here with how to be ready ahead of time. And this is something, Dana, you learned from personal experience. I know this just happened to me. I got a flat tire and this is the second one this year. Actually, I wow. went to a tire store thinking I just needed a patch, but was told nope, new tire. Well, maybe they were right. Maybe they were wrong. I didn't know at the time. And I told the story to someone in the newsroom and there was a coworker and this same thing had happened to my coworker. So I bet you can use a primer too. Here you go. Three ways to get ahead of that side of the road flat. We have potholes, steel plates, build construction equipment, tools, nails, screws. And our tires see it all, day in and day out. But what do you know about these hardworking rubber lifesavers? Unless you live in um, auto service or auto enthusiast magazines, you're not going to think about tires at all. That is until we have a flat. Then we pull into a shop and we're at the whim of a salesperson to tell us what we need. They'll stop. Eddie Ellart, owner of Mazda Only, has three preventative measures you can take so that you can see a flat coming long before it hits you on the way to work. One tire pressure. Buy a reliable tire gauge. Check the pressure when the tires are cold before you drive. If all of them are at the same pressure and they're within range of what it says on the door sill of the driver's door of the car, you're fine. If not, fill it up. If it continues to be low, have it checked by someone who knows what they're looking at. This is what an underinflated tire can do. The inside edge or outside edge will wear that it's way. Flush. Two, even surface. The tire should be smooth all along the surface, all around the circumference. Look here at the wear bar, this little horizontal line in different parts of the tire. You can see if the tread on either side of it is wearing evenly, and it can signal time for a new tire. When the tire wears down to the point where that small raised area is along the surface, it's time to replace the tire. When this is flush with the wear bar, water can't push out through these tunnels, and that's when you hydroplane. And three, uneven wear. Make sure the tire is wearing evenly. This tire has been properly inflated and properly rotated, but the tread belt is migrating so that the inside is much thicker than the outside. And when you buy a tire, you need to plan ahead for that to research what tires right for you. Tires for the in-town driver and tires for the highway driver, according to Eddie, are two different tires. Know what you want. Look at prices. Then when it's time to get one, maybe after a roadside flat, you'll know if the price is right for you. Hmm. So did you really need a tire? Yeah, I described it to Eddie and he said it seemed like yeah. I actually really needed a tire. And, you know, don't let's not get into this. It's a man's job. It's a woman's job thing. It takes all of like a minute and a half to understand how to get a new tire and that you need one. And, mm -hmm. you know, I do the bills. My husband does the cooking. So I, you know, had somebody write and say, I don't mean to be sexist, but <laughs> hey, I get it. But ladies, it takes two seconds to yeah. figure out. Well, it's, some it's rules good to know. of the road. No, it's true. And then I think one thing that probably surprised you, it surprised me too, is just how much tires are. So it's like, you might as well do your homework. Yeah, and then they're be prepared. And to... you know, I'm just not into cars. Like, I don't care what I drive. It's not about not being smart enough to figure out whether I need new tires. I just care so <laughs> little about this. But two flats uh -huh. in the last year, and now I'm the dummy. Care you know what I mean? Now. Yeah, now I care. <laughs> hey, we're going to learn from this for yeah. sure. Dana, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of those. Let's not have yeah. three, three flats in a year. Let's not do it.